welcome everybody to a new property tour. Right behind me is a Miami Beach mansion listed at $13,990,000. And as you can tell, it is very unique in the sense that it has that Spanish architecture blended with some modern twists throughout the years. Built in 1937, you'll notice throughout the entire property that there are certain elements that are from the 30s and certain elements from today. And what's cool is that Rapunzel is all the way at the top with her long hair. So let me just call her. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. Hello. <laughs> it's not Rapunzel, it's, it's Rapunzo. <laughs> Rapunzo. Um, <laughs> well, welcome everybody. Without further ado, that's a great way to start the video with the awkward cringe joke. So let's go and take a look at this stunning 6,200 square foot mansion on a 22,000 square foot lot on the water. <gasps> let's go. Now before we enter the home, of course, we have to talk about the grounds outside, right? When you walk, or we're not walk, when you drive in, you have gated entry, so you're gated and walled around the entire property, and you have super nice vegetation. You don't see any of your neighbors, really nice, tall, royal palms. You have a fountain that emits a sense of peacefulness as you enter your humble abode. And then, you're walking up towards like another gate within your gate, which is pretty cool. This little pedestrian gate here. And then you have artificial turf in this entryway over here. Pretty cool, because if you have like a little dog or something, you wanted to close that up, you know, maybe the dog could like play in here if you even wanted to. But the front yard is beautiful because when you're walking out of your house as well, you're looking like straight at trees, vegetation. You don't really see other homes, which is really nice, right? And being on a 22,000 square foot lot, that is like, you get so much space. It's almost half an acre. So come on over. Actually, it's just over an acre. An acre is 43,560, that's 22,000. 43,560 divided by two is a little under 22,000. So it's actually a little over half an acre. I'm really good at math, I bet you didn't know that. As you walk in, you'll notice, probably B-roll on your screen, beautiful front door over there. It's a glass door that you kind of see through. Really nice, bringing in the light here. For your entry right over here, uh, Italian marble floors throughout the entire property downstairs over here. Now, you have your living spaces here, kitchens on that side, and then the entertaining back over there. But before, I figured we might as well just point out this one bedroom right over here. This is an ensuite bedroom with its own bathroom and it has nice tiled floors that are like the modern floors of today. You know, that gray floor that looks like it's wood, but it's not wood and it's porcelain tile, which is nice. So you walk down over here and you have your living room. Nice, big living room. I love the seating that they have here. The furnishings, nice, simple, modern and elegant. You have the kind of like the exposed beam kind of look, but it's gray bringing in that modern, right? Which is pretty cool too. A massive TV up on that wall right over here above the fireplace, which is really cool. But you'll notice, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there are certain elements that are throughout the home that were from back in the day, like back in the 1930s when this home was originally built. So you see the fireplace has nice different uh, uh, architecture there. Here you have the, the windows. These windows are older than me and you for sure. These windows are beautiful and Honestly, you like people who have these windows and the gables, a lot of people have them in the gables too. They don't even like to remove them because they're just, I mean, they're, they're beautiful. They're so nice. So that's really cool that they left that there. It just brings you back to the 1930s when people used to, what did they used to do in the 1930s? Anyways, uh, so here we have the gym. I guess they went to UF, go Gators. Over here we have a gym area, which is real nice is you have windows all around, a lot of light coming in. Here you're on this Peloton, I, I forget the name of this, what this would be, but ellip, elliptical, ellip, sorry, elliptical. No. Yeah. What is it? Okay, well, the workout machine, as you're doing that, you're looking out to water, you're looking out to your big backyard, 22,000 square feet of land, you get a lot of space, right? And you're getting privacy on the side here from the landscaping. Now that's enough of the elliptical, we're gonna go back all right, we're back here into the living spaces, right? So we've covered this side of the house. This door goes to the backyard, which we'll see later. But 
You have your living room, which leads now to your dining room over here. This is a massive dining room. This table is huge. You fit three, six, nine, 12 people. Your whole family is coming on Thanksgiving. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving, everybody, because I'm sure you're watching this on Thanksgiving weekend. So I hope you enjoy it with your family. Anyways, Thanksgiving is here. You have over here a little sink as well, you know, to prep things if you need to. And of course, you're out looking out the windows to your water view and your pool view as well. Now over here, you have that really cool door from like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where you open, you come in, all right? Breakfast nook over here, overlooking the water view and the pool view, and you even have a little deck area right off of this uh, breakfast nook as well, which is cool, which actually goes to the, the pool as well. And then over here, you have your kitchen. I love this. Yeah, I'm gonna notice, if, I'm gonna point out a few details here, but really nice. Check out the gold, all right? You have the pot filler here in gold. You'll notice the furnishings they have are gold. You'll notice the handles they have are gold with acrylic. Very, very nice attention to detail. They're keeping the stone going up along in the backsplash, beautiful stone countertops here. Gold here as well. There's two sinks, one here, one there. Yes, two dishwashers as well. One there, one there. Look at the gold here, like the detail is there, right? And another thing I wanna point out back over here is if this reminds you of something, comment down below what it reminds you of. What do these knobs remind you of? George? The windows. The windows. Good job, good job. You want uh, candy? Yes. Too bad, that's not my candy, so I can't give it to you. Uh, anyway, so here we are. You got this area here. Kitchen's really big, massive island right in the middle. You have, again, the knobs as well, which are reminiscent of the windows. Woo! The windows, baby. There you go. And then you have a really nice big fridge over here with all your drinks, white claws, beer, high noons. Everything is in there. All right. Three sinks in the kitchen. That is insane. All right. What was that? And the pot. And the pot. Oh, four. So four. Yeah. Pot filler makes it four. Really nice. So over here we have one other or one bedroom. Okay. So we'll come down over here. You have down this way would be the laundry room right over here. All right, this would be the actual bedroom. It's a huge room. Honestly, what I would make this room is a movie theater. Your windows are not huge. You put blackout curtains, put the theater right there. You have enough seating for that. That's what I would make this. Um, and then of course you have your bathroom right over here. So this bathroom attends this room, but this room is massive right now. Like they literally have it as two queen beds and a huge couch, movie theater, 100% no if and or buts. And it's really cool because it's off of the kitchen. So let's come down this way. We'll come back to where we just came from, which is the kitchen, right? Now, before we go to the upstairs, we have to go upstairs this way, right? So now we're gonna take it up here, right? Up here on this side of the home is a separate area that's not connected to the main upstairs. This is more like, I'd say like a guest house or guest area. You have two bedrooms, good sized bedrooms that have a hallway that share one bathroom. It's really nice if you have people over, that's the place where you, they would more than likely stay because it's separate from everywhere else in the house, okay? Now, we're gonna go back here in the kitchen. That's the, the first room we saw that would kind of be like uh, the one that we saw before, that would be a movie theater. And then you have this really cool hallway. You notice the tongue and groove on the ceilings with the exposed beams and these massive windows that right now are bringing in the perfect lighting to do a photo shoot. Pose, pose, photo shoot, pose. There you go, perfect. You got a nice photo shoot, you're welcome. So anyways, two, you have the double door here. You could enter the home through there or from the front door, whatever you desire. We're back here, you have your living room there and then you have another hallway down this way. Now this would be your powder room, half bath over here. And then over here you have storage and then you have your staircase that takes you to the second floor. So let's go and check out the impressive master suite. Come on. Here we're in the hallway, all right, second floor. We teleported, wow, wow, 
Over here on this side, again, we have three bedrooms up on this floor, including your master suite. So we'll see right over here, we have the first bedroom, okay, right here to your left. First bedroom here, walk-in closet, and a really cool bathroom. They got some really nice art there on the walls, I love that. And then this room is overlooking the water view, which is super nice as well. All right, so this is bedroom number one on the second floor, right? Then over here, we have the second bedroom up here. Now, what I, I, the bedroom's a great size. You have your own bathroom here as well. This is one of the more original bathrooms that they haven't done updates to, but it's very well kept and very well maintained. Uh, and then you have, of course, closet space as well. Um, I did want to mention something. Hello? Do you hear that? George? Do you hear that? Jonathan? I'm in here. Where? The closet in the back of the bookshelf. What do you mean? The bookshelf, just pull it. I can't get out. Help. 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 <laughs> we tried so hard to do something cool here, uh, but I don't know if that was properly executed. Anyways, this is a hidden room. That's the whole point of that. That I don't, I don't even know what you saw. That was crazy on this end, but I hope it came out real nice. Here we have a little office area hidden away from everything, and then you have a closet right over here. All right, so this is some closet space. It's pretty neat, right? I mean, you would never think that's here, right? I mean, I'm sure when you originally saw me in the room, you didn't think it was here. And then that happened and you probably got confused and you found me. Now, let's go and check out the master suite, shall we? Come on. So, oh, before we go there, you have a, a balcony over here overlooking the front entrance of the home, which is where you saw me in the beginning of the video. And then that's a staircase to go upstairs, which we'll go in a second. But first, we have to check out this master suite. Now over here, master suite, really nice size, nice and bright in here. So large, you have a seating area, king size bed, balcony overlooking your water view. You're seeing everything that's going on in Miami Beach, literally from your master bedroom walk-in closet down over there, and then double door entry here that leads to your beautifully renovated master bathroom. Now, I like that they left the mirrors because when you're by the water and you have mirrors, it really brings out the light, but it also shows the water views when you're looking in the mirrors. So double vanity, shower, tub, and then this is the private toilet room. Uh, but this is a great size master fit for a king. And now, we can go and take it upstairs to the third floor where we will find Rapunzel, shall we? So now we are in Rapunzel's room. Unfortunately, Rapunzel is not here, but her bed is here. She makes her bed every morning, good for her. What's great is that up here, really cool, this could be like a meditation room, an area for you to get, breathe in, breathe out. You can make this little gym area in the morning if you wanted to. You're looking out over here, you're on the third floor, you kind of see a little bit of sliver of water over there. You're looking at your water view there, and over here is looking at the front. And then you have a balcony here, which is pretty neat. So here you're, again, looking at the Miami Beach skyline, looking at everything. You even see that you see the ocean almost a little bit. And then over here is looking over the front of the home. But this is the third floor. So, so nice for you to just meditate or work out or whatever it is you want. And now the most important part is the backyard. So let's go and teleport to the backyard, shall we? So now we are in the backyard area over here to sit and relax, overlook your water view, or area over there to sit in the artificial turf, relax and enjoy the view, or area over here to sit and eat food, or an area over there to enjoy the breeze and the water, or an area over there to enjoy this, the water and the, the pool. There's just so many areas to do everything here. I absolutely love it. The pool is so big and it's so blue. It reminds me of the, the, the like 
it's like the color of the guy from the movie Blue. I'm blue, double. Have you seen that? There's a, there's a movie. I forget the movie, but the guy like gets painted, filled with blue. I, you know which movie I'm talking about. But anyways, that's like the color blue that it reminds me of. It's so nice back here. Perfect place to entertain. You literally have people over and you have all the space in the world that you need back here. You don't need anything more or less than what you have here. And then you're overlooking this canal view, which is a nice wide canal. And get this, there's a bridge, probably about two to three blocks north of this house. And you cross that bridge and you literally have the beach access right, th literally straight ahead down there. I don't know if you can see that, maybe the lamp's in the way, but literally straight down that way is your beach access. So you could technically walk to the beach or just like your neighbors right over here, get a jet ski and act like your bad bunny going throughout the, you know, the channels and everything over here and ending up in the ocean. It's beautiful back here. You're literally like in Miami beach, but you're not like right in the heart where it's so crazy. It's peaceful. It's close. It's Miami Beach living at its finest. And as the song goes, that song that goes, welcome to Miami Beach, it's a year round summer vacation. A place you wanna call your home, I guess you can call it a staycation. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Make sure you go down, you like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And if you have any interest, shoot me an email, youtube at jonathanmvega.com. Peace and love, peace and love. Relaxing with my fam. Man, this life is glam. So many parks for some fun. Yeah, how about a walk or a run? Or ride bike around town. Yeah, with this weather you'll never frown. Can we take it to Lincoln Road? Shopping before an amazing dinner. So many options, which one's a winner? Yeah, we got Carbone Joe's and Prime 112. Or let's